Hi and welcome to this, the latest video in the Mike Woods Property Expert Partnership training videos. So I'm back at this large refurbishment project now and I'm just seeing what the latest progress is. Now we've now got the rendering team here um, going to render the external wall. Now I'd like to show you the property next door. This is um, something that's recently been sold for a lot more money than what we've paid for ours fortunately but that's what we do in this business and make sure we source properties at the right prices and you'll notice that they've just changed their windows to the new modern grey effect which is um, what we've established here on our property so we've done that first uh, because my vision here was to have this property looking uh, very modern uh, we started with the roof and uh, you can see up there above the gable we've repaired that area there so I'm going to take you a little bit closer to the property now I'm going to show you something that's very interesting that we've had to do before we render this building so I'll just mention that to you when I get there now so just follow me if you don't mind and I'll take you in and have a look so just bear with me as I walk you into the site here so this is where all the guys are set up their, um, their platform here to mix the cement and ready and that's the first coat and we call this a scratch coat as you can see it's got some horizontal lines on it that's the key to protect the next coat now what we've had to do is because the original brickwork has not got what we call an adequate key it won't take uh, the new sand cement render readily we've had to cover it with a coating and this is called red grit so it's got a sandy based um, paint and that's going to form a key for us when we gonna, when we put the first coat of render on so we've had to do the whole house with this red grit effect which is going to give us that key there's a close-up of the window you can see so we've gone for this nice grey modern finish and the door to match what we've also done is originally there was a post here on the left hand side and in fact I'm going to show you this and this is quite common look how rotten this post is from um, from the the weather that's had over the years so we've taken that post away and we've installed what's called a gallows bracket and that's going to hold up that canopy and before the canopy was sloping on the inside so we've created a horizontal soffit these wires are going to be for the um, some down lighters which are going to put in and one of them is going to be on a PIR which means that it's going to come on automatically when people approach the front of the house so it's going to light up the front door so I'm just going to take you inside my decorator is in here at the moment so just bear with us okay so as we walk into the front hallway from the previous videos I've told you that we've got uh, a WC here which was previously a square wall and we put a 45 degree door on here so yet to be put on we've now got a lovely little concealed basin and a WC in here so this is the downstairs WC of course now what's interesting about this item is I some of you might know now I don't like seeing pipe work so we've hidden the pipe work inside this vanity unit and then we've created a boxing along the corner here to hide the pipework. So there's no pipework visible in here. And as I've said to you, it's a little bit of a pet hate of mine, pipework. Okay, so into this front lounge. Nothing much done in there, otherwise it's decorated. Lovely clean job by a guy and everything's glossed. And then into this lounge area. Now we've now got the patio doors fit uh, fitted. And as you can see now from this angle, it's really opened up this whole lounge. Now previously, there was some glass here and glass on this side. And a sort of temporary or not very good fix really of, of glass. So there's no reason for glass to be here other than to add a little bit more light. But by making this solid here and putting the uh, French doors opening outwards, We've really, really gained a lot of space. So this room, instead of it being sort of rectangular with a bit of a space out there, we've created a lovely L-shaped lounge. Now, there was a wall previously in this location, which we've taken down to make this all open plan. 
There was a cupboard in the corner here as well, and the door was previously there going into that toilet. And of course, all modern properties these days will have a toilet from the entrance hall. So that's why we've created that. This is a new range of kitchen that we've picked up. And previously, this was the original kitchen. So we've created a little doorway partition here. And now we're going to have a utility room here, a separate utility room, so everything can be closed off. Washing machine, etc. So there you have it. So there's the kitchen, open plan into the lounge. And then we're allowed for flat screen TV in the, in the central chimney breast. And then from this location, we've got a lovely view out and beyond, out onto the golf course behind. Now we're going to be putting some decking out here um, to finish all this off so when we go out to the French doors we can have a little bit of a nice seating area there. So I'll just take you upstairs and squeeze past the decorator here. So now that we've got rid of the metal balustrading along here we're now going to put some nice glass panels which are going to make this area all open. As we go upstairs so, this is the landing, we've got our doors in, our bathroom is now grouted. So as before, you might have seen, we've got our um, uh, floating basin with vanity unit, some detail on the tiling. We've got the extra detailing here, which is a little bit of a signature of mine, where I use the um, different panel tiling to give some extra effect. I've boxed the tiles and the pipe works in again. Nice down lighter to light up that area. And as you can see here, we've now got our shower screen in place, chrome rail, detailing on the tiling as well, chrome radiator at the back. So this is really coming together nicely and just as I wanted it to be. There's our front room. Change the windows on the front as you notice from outside. So this is a lovely bright aspect single, uh, sorry, double bedroom, beautiful room. This is the second double bedroom as our renderer uh, working on the back wall. Another lovely uh, double bedroom there. And then a, a reasonably large single bedroom. I don't quite think this is gonna be a double, but a, and certainly a nice size room. And both of these rear windows uh, looking on to the golf course behind um, and in the distance the, the mountains. Now what's really interesting about this property is that there are very few on this run here that access the golf course. So this path here goes straight out onto the car park of the golf course. So one of the unique features about this property is that anybody who's into their golfing can literally walk from this house out of their back garden and go and play golf straight away. And in fact, we have had a number of people asking us about that um, and uh, wondering already before we put the property on the market, indeed, when it's going to be and what the price is going to be. So there you have it. One unique aspect of why we bought this property and um, how we're going to benefit from it. So... I will take you around um, the next video uh, when we finish the job, but in the meantime, if you've got any questions, by all means, please ask, and I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.